guys and welcome to Petrol Ped. So today I am at Goodwood again and behind me is a very, very beautiful original Mini. So you may well have seen my film from last week where I drove the Road Legal Mini Challenge. If you like perhaps the, a modern Mini as souped up as it can be, well this week I'm bringing you an original classic Mini, but this is a, a wolf in sheep's clothing. So I met the owner of this car when I did the auto solo and I fell in love with it and he's very kindly agreed to let us have a look at it today. We're going to have a good look round the outside and then I'm a very, very lucky boy because he's owned this car for over 30 years and I will be the first person to be allowed to drive it and I'm very, very excited. So we'll have a good look. It looks like a classic original Mini but under the bonnet is something very special because this has a 1275 supercharged engine. Oh yeah. This should be a lot of fun. So let's take a look under the bonnet where the magic happens. So what we've got here is, well this was an originally a 1275cc engine. It's been bored out a little bit, it's about 1290 now, but um, it's got forged pistons, it's got custom cams, but the really interesting bit happens at the top here. And we've actually taken the bonnet off to give us some better light. So it's got a supercharger unit there, and then a Weber 45 carburetor with a nice sort of uh, uh, high flow filter on there. Um, so a huge amount of power. So you've got to bear in mind, these original Minis were very tiny and very light. This thing weighs around about 600 kilos. Um, now, the engine's not been fully dynoed yet, but it's kicking out somewhere in the region of 150 to 160 horsepower, um, and it's very, very torquey. We don't know the torque figures, um, but uh, that's one of the things I've kind of been told by Mark Leone, look, it's really torquey engine. And the bit I'm really, really looking forward to when we drive the car is that when you get it on full chat and you get the revs going up, this supercharger starts to whine like a real good one. So that's gonna be fantastic. dash of this car is just so beautiful. It's original wood, central speedo, but the gauge that gives it all away, I just try and zoom in, is this one just here. The original Minis didn't have a supercharged boost gauge. So we're the first things first. So this is Mark who has very kindly uh, let us play with the car today. Um, so we're just going out for a kind of familiarization run more than anything, because this is a beautiful old car and it has some foibles that when you get used to driving modern cars, you know, you, you kind of forget, you know, it doesn't have power steering, it doesn't have brake servos, it's very low slung um, and it, it kind of will react to road surface and, and road camber far, far more differently to a modern car. So before I get to have a go, um, uh, I'm just going to kind of have a, a passenger ride first, but it's also a really good opportunity Supercharger, an engine from, if you like, the original uh, BMW Mini, um, but uh, about a year ago we replaced it for the unit we got in here. So 
what's it like owning this car on a day-to-day -day basis? It must put just a massive smile yeah. on you, mate. Well, I've got, my, I've got a smile on now, mate. Yes, it's <laughs> lots of fun. Yeah. Uh, lots of tinkering, lots of jobs to do. Yeah. All and did you do all of it yourself? Or? Most of it. The supercharger yeah. development's done by a chap called Stuart Gurr at VMAX. Yeah. And uh, I had another company do the bodywork. Yeah. But, uh, you know, all the day-to-day -day spannering is, is done by myself. Yeah. And, and quite amusingly, Mark, we... We call, or he calls this car Trigger's Broom. So if you're a fan of Only Fools and Horses, you'll know what that means. But you know, it, it's like he's had the same broom for 25 years or whatever. So it's had lots of new bits. Um, basically, everything from the kind of windows down is new bits of metal and, and so on. But it's just stunning in here, and it's got a, it's got that kind of old car lovely smell. Yeah. You don't get that in new cars. A bit of oil, a bit of petrol. Yeah, it just great, and the, the dash in front of me just looks fantastic with the wood and the um, and the gauges and so on. It's just fantastic. So we're coming to a bit of national speed limit road, and I have a feeling the supercharger is going to be whining in a little while. only got a four-speed box but apparently that might change hopefully, uh, hopefully. Year or so, yeah. um, so you've got limits in terms of revs and gearing more than anything in terms of top end but getting to that top end wow it's quick and it doesn't off stop so what are the brakes are they they're um seven and a half inch original cupress discs yeah um solid disc not vented yeah um just with um groove discs and mintex uh, racing pads yeah and the tyres, it's got pretty sticky tyres. Yeah, it? there's the Yoko Armour, nice yeah. sticky ones. Yeah. It's a real honour, actually, more than anything. So, um, we've just had a, I've just had a demonstration from the master. This guy won the auto solo, by the way, um, if you've seen that video. Oh, I see what you mean. You get used to power steering quite quickly, don't you? So, this is my first ever drive of an original Mini. I can't believe it's taken me this long, to be fair. And what a what an example to have a go at as well. So the first thing that strikes me straight away is you get huge visibility out the front, and it's just... One car's no space, space yeah. And yeah. Um, it just feels really light and pointy. The interesting thing is I'm kind of thinking, what, well, change up into 5th and 6th, but obviously I don't have 5th and 6th. And then just taking care to position the car on the road, especially where there's the camber and things like potholes and so on, this car doesn't really respond too well to those. I started this YouTube channel to 
get access and maybe to drive some really cool cars and I've been really really lucky so far I've driven some modern supercars and so on but this is the first if you like classic car I've driven <laughs> it's just fantastic
lines are standard. It's, it's also got the arches and the, the, the wider wheels. Yeah, and that, but that's kind of that, that's quite cool about me. But it's, what you've done with the engine, you, you've managed to give it all the power a Mini's always should have had, but not change any of the character. Yeah. You've just enhanced it. You've made it even better in a way. Because you, you kind of you, not that you necessarily get the frustration in an older Mini, the the, the the less horsepower ones, but this has got kind of modern day performance, but original what, mini handling. What exactly? What I'm so pleased about having gone down the supercharger route is a lot of people now are putting modern lightweight engines in, yeah. which obviously work very well, what yeah. have you. But it takes the weight off the front wheels, and you've got, you've been commenting about just how grippy and direct yeah. the front end is. So I wanted to keep that old cast iron engine in there to yeah. keep it handling like a mini. Yeah. And then with Stuart's supercharger work, etc., it's got all of that drivability yeah, yeah. and the fun. So it's, it really is the best of both worlds. Yeah, and you, you know, well, you chucked it into that corner pretty rapidly, and it wasn't very much understeer at all. With anything, you got a bit of, bit of it, understeer. It doesn't understeer. No. It's always <laughs> it's understeer. It's just fantastic. a go at, a, at an acceleration out of first gear because I haven't really sort of felt it the proper sort of power from that so let's give it that the go so. So we are safely back here at Goodwood and I couldn't help but park Ruby next to the Mini. Look, I'm, it's fascinating the size difference between them. I mean, Ruby's a pretty small modern Mini, but what a car. And I, I just have a few massive thank yous. I've got to thank Mark, the owner, for letting me drive his baby. Um, a slightly different video. I hope you kind of enjoyed the sort of conversational style. There's so much to talk about. He's owned the car for so long. He knows every nut and bolt and squeak. Um, and it's a fascinating car to drive. Um, it has all the character of an old classic car, but the performance of a modern day car, and I just thought it was a brilliant, brilliant thing. And I'm gonna have a big smile on my face now for the rest of the day. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have done so, give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to Petrol Pet for plenty more content to come. Anyway, I'm gonna go and remember my day with a classic Mini. Um, and I'll see you on the next film, guys. You take care. Drive safe. <laughs>